This podcast is sponsored by Release Winery. Every wine tells a story. Each growing season, it's our goal to create an artisan Napa Valley wine of exceptional quality. Join us as the story of this ultra-limited wine continues. Learn more at releasewinery.com. This is Joel Peterson, and you are about to experience the Sonoma County Barrel Auction, which has got some of the most unique and special wines in the entire world from a group of winemakers who are totally talented. Well, the Sonoma County Barrel Auction has come about in order to highlight special wines that you can never find anywhere else. Uh, we're pouring a Zinfandel, uh, which is one of the varieties that grow so well in, in our uh, Dry Creek Valley. We have a wine called Serenity. Um, all of it came from those beautiful square tanks, and um, <laughs> i got to throw that in there. Dawn's Four Barrel Blend, and it's mostly all mountain fruit, so it's 90% mountain fruit. Lots of style. These wines are really sexy. Uh, everybody's putting their best foot forward, and each wine has a story. But there's plenty of wines at altitude, and we feel that uh, it gives an interesting uh, a little extra structure and depth to the wines. Serenity is Cabernet Franc-based instead of Cabernet Sauvignon-based, with uh, so 60% Cabernet Franc, 25% Merlot, 10% Cabernet Sauvignon, and uh, 5% Petit Verdot. And it's a, kind of a mini Cheval Blanc, if you will, and it's absolutely beautiful. And I'm really excited. We've heard it's a lot of fun, and there's a lot of excitement in the air during the auction, so we're looking forward to it. It's a great crowd. So it's interesting to go back and remember specific wines, remember flavors, go back, taste them, get the stories behind the, the Shiner bottles that we get, and add a little bit more uh, richness to the narrative. We at William Sellium, we do a 20-case lot. Uh, this year, it's called Sonata Number no. 3, and it's a blend of three of our estate vineyards in Russian River Valley. And so there are three or four... Um, winemakers who have put the lots that they have from each neighborhood that really most sort of exemplify the defining characteristics. Of uh, mostly Zinfandel, but also Petit Syrah, which adds a little depth to it. And these wines are, uh, it's a, they're artful um, opportunities outside the normal regime. 2015 Estate uh, Pinot, 100% Pumard clone. And it's about uh, 20% new oak. Nobody is going to have this um, five cases of this wine. It's special and it is unique and we're not going to be bottling this ever again. We're a dry farm vineyard and so this area is really marked by the topsoil, which is a little bit more low line, so we have a lot of Gold Ridge topsoil that's kind of settled there throughout the years. Um, and it's all one clone, 777, um, one block, one clone, one lot. Well, really, Sonoma County is about relationships, and so we're very privileged to have really wonderful relationships with the older pioneer Grand Cru vineyards of the Russian River because of the relationship that Gary forged all those years ago. So our auction lot is a blend of all five clones of Pinot Noir that we grow on the property. One of the joys of working for a larger company like this is there's so many experienced people that you can lean on. Uh, and we have regular meetings within the winery with the Pinot Noir, Pinot Noir winemakers and increasingly so with all of the winemakers. And you know, you can learn so much just by listening to your peers and your counterparts. It's, it's incredible. A lot of these are our neighbours and it's good to see them at these events and we, we, we kind of walk around and say, hey, how's it going? What are you, what are you drinking? And I, I tasted a little bit this morning, some of my neighbours here. It's very Sonoman. We're very Sonoman here. So yeah, the Bunchies are very much uh, interested, of course, of, of elevating the knowledge of not only their guests, but really making sure that their staff uh, are, are commensurate with the kind of quality level that we're trying to put into the brand and the wine as well. And then a little switch by putting a little small amount of Sangiovese, which gives us a little Italian connection, but also adds a little, uh, little kind of a tartness to the, to the blend. It makes it unique. So that's, that's what we've tried to do, put together something that one time makes a special lot. All we're really doing is preserving grape juice. <laughs> uh, someone's got to do it. This podcast is sponsored by Release Winery. Every wine tells a story. 
Each growing season, it's our goal to create an artisan Napa Valley wine of exceptional quality. Join us as the story of this ultra-limited wine continues. Learn more at releasewinery.com. <laughs>